Welcome to Level. In this video, we'll show you how to get started and highlight some of our key features for managing your endpoints. Our platform allows you to easily manage, monitor, and control your devices from anywhere in the world directly from your browser. The Devices section provides a centralized view of the endpoints you're responsible for managing. You can group devices by location, department, client, or whatever makes sense for your company. Filtering and searching make it easy to find the devices you need quickly. You can also customize columns to show the information you want to see. Level supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. Our installation process is straightforward and only takes a few steps. First, click Install New Agent in the top left. From there, you can choose which operating system you'd like to install on and optionally provide a group to install a device directly to that group. We provide an easy one-line command that you can copy and paste into your terminal. Once you've entered the command, the device will show up in Level in just a couple of seconds. Remote controlling a device with Level is incredibly easy and can be done in a single click. Simply click on the OS icon and a new tab will open connecting you directly to the device. Level uses peer-to-peer -peer connections wherever possible which increases security and reduces latency, making remote controlling your devices even smoother and more efficient. The remote control screen is in level is split with the device you're controlling on the left and the sidebar on the right. The sidebar provides a wealth of background management options, including access to essential system information so you can quickly view key metrics such as disk usage, IP information, and more. A fully interactive terminal with tab completion allowing you to run commands directly on the device as if you were physically present. A file explorer that allows you to browse, upload, and download files. To upload a file, just drag it to the sidebar. To download a file, simply double click it in the sidebar. You also have process and service management so you can quickly search for and manage processes and services on the device. For example, if you need to restart the print spooler, you can quickly search for it and restart it in a single click. When you close the remote control tab, you'll be taken back to the device listing. One point I'd like to highlight is that if you right click on the OS icon, you can see all connection options, including background management options. To access all details about an individual device, simply click on its name and you'll be taken to an overview for that device. The device overview highlights the security score for the device, which is a unique score for an endpoint based on multiple factors like firewall, antivirus state, patch compliance, operating system version, and more. Low scores indicate a device that requires immediate attention. The device overview displays the device's current location along with crucial system information. Additionally, it provides real-time data on CPU memory, disk usage, and latency metrics. You could also keep track of active alerts and the device's recent activity. The System tab allows you to view detailed information about the device's hardware and software. This includes information about the operating system, motherboard, processors, hard drives, and network interfaces. The Manage tab provides access to all the behind the scenes management options without remote controlling the endpoint. This includes the same options you had available from the remote control sidebar, like terminal, file explorer, process and service management. This allows you to quickly and easily manage your devices without interrupting the user's workflow. In the updates tab, you can manually install updates for a device without the need for remote controlling. You can also view the update history and logs to see which updates have been installed and when. Additionally, you can see when updates are scheduled to be installed based on the policies applied to the device. This ensures that your devices remain up to date and secure. In the alerts tab, you can view all active and resolved alerts for the device you're currently viewing. This includes alerts related to security, performance, and more. You can also set up notifications to receive alerts via email when they're triggered. By monitoring alerts, you can quickly address any issues that arise with your devices and ensure they remain secure and running smoothly. 
In the Monitors tab, you can view all monitors that are applied to a device through monitoring policies. This allows you to keep track of key metrics like disk usage, CPU, load, and more. By monitoring these metrics, you can proactively address issues before they become serious problems. Additionally, you can set up notifications to receive alerts when a monitor threshold is exceeded, allowing you to take action immediately. Next, in the Policies tab, you can view which policies are applied to a device. In Level, policies are applied to devices through tags. By default, devices will have either a workstation or server tag applied. By managing policies through tags, you can easily apply policies to multiple devices at once, saving you time and ensuring consistency across your devices. Finally, in the Permissions tab, you can view who on your team has permissions to view and manage the endpoint you're looking at. This helps to maintain security and control over your devices. Now that we've explored the various features available for single device management, let's switch gears and take a look at how you can execute tasks across multiple devices using level scripting capabilities. To start, let's filter the platform to Windows and add another filter for online devices. Now let's select all of these devices and click on the Actions dropdown. From here, we can quickly enable maintenance mode, bulk install updates, or run a script. Let's choose Run New Script, and I'll just do a quick IP config for demonstration purposes. Okay, then we're going to hit Review to see all the devices this job will execute on. Once you're ready, execute the job, and you can watch as the script runs across all of your selected devices. You can monitor the output and status of each device in real time, which is incredibly useful when you're managing a large number of devices. Now let's explore monitoring policies in Level and how they enable you to keep track of the health and well being of your devices. By default, Level creates a server and a workstation monitoring policy for you. Let's take a look a closer look at the default workstation monitoring policy. Each monitor policy targets tags that are applied to your device and can have many monitors attached to it. This gives you complete granular control over thresholds, severity, and which monitors you and your team actually need to be alerted on. Level has the ability to monitor just about anything you can imagine such as connectivity or online offline state, CPU usage, memory usage, disk usage, and processes and services that are or aren't running. All of these monitor types have the ability to run a remediation script when they're triggered. This gives you the ability to clean up many issues before they become major problems. For instance, if the disk monitor detects that a disk is nearing full capacity, you could configure Level to automatically run a script that deletes temporary files. Similarly, if the print spooler isn't running, Level can be configured to automatically start the service. If there isn't a built-in monitor for what you need, Level allows you to monitor literally anything you can write a script for through script-based monitors. Keeping your devices monitored and healthy is important, but it's also extremely important to ensure they're patched and up to date. Let's explore Level's patch policies to see how you can achieve this. Level makes it easy to choose and schedule patch behaviors through policies. Similar to monitor policies, Level creates default policies for both workstations and servers, which can be customized to match your organization's standards. Let's take a closer look at the default workstations policy. On the left-hand side of the patch policy screen, you can customize the patch schedule, handling of offline devices, reboot configuration, and the devices targeted through tags. On the right-hand side, you can choose which operating systems to install updates for, select the category of updates you want to install, and delay updates by a certain number of days for stability. If you want to manually run a patch policy, you can do so by clicking on Run Policy Now in the top right-hand corner. 
Overall, Level's patch policies provide an easy way to ensure you, that your devices stay up to date with the latest security patches and updates. Thanks for watching this quick overview of Level. We hope you get a good feel for how our platform can help you manage your endpoints. We'd love to hear your thoughts and answer any questions you might have. So please feel free to reach out to our support team. Thanks again for taking the time to check us out.